My dad. And show me the other one. And tell me who that one is. My mom. And this is me. It says my name on it. Those are great. Did you make those yourself? Mm-hmm. Except I didn't draw the picture. This picture. Because I can't see myself. I'm hoping that we can fix almost anything. Michael is really going to be the lead fixer. Michael, do you want to come out for a little bit of talk about fixing things? Sure. I'm, I'm okay. I can fix some things. I can paint pretty well, and I can do um, some refinishing work quite well. Um, and I'm probably better at stitching than Michael. We're going to encourage people, if we can, to bring anything and everything. Household objects. Um, a lot of people have asked for example, already, can you do electronics? Can you fix my printer? And I think we're going to try electronics. We'll do our best. He's done some iPods and iPhones and some toys. But um, we also want people to think about things that they, you know, that break that you wouldn't think of. Like we had a colander that broke. We had a, we have a, a wooden spoon that has a crack. We have a wooden chair there. We have a bunch of toys. Like there are a lot of things that break around the house um, that really that really can be fixed. I have some mechanical inclination in, and always have to some degree, but uh, I've been building scenery for theater for, well, I got into it in high school, which makes more than 20 years. Um, and since every show is different, you learn a little bit of everything. Um, like we, you know, you have to put running water on stage and you have to learn plumbing and we had, um, a gas flame effect for an opera that I did, so I had to learn to plumb natural gas, which is not like a, you know, not a very common kind of thing. And a lot of it you learn trial and error. Uh, <laughs> um, with uh, leaping flames, usually the, there's a lot more trial and a lot less error. Um, but, um, you know, having just worked with a variety of, a show I did at uh, Utah Shakespearean Festival years ago, the director, um, wanted a talking monkey in a cage. So one of the people I worked with got three monkeys, three stuffed monkeys, and um, the director liked the fur on one but the size of another and the hands and feet of a third. So this guy took apart all these three monkeys, put the hands of one, made the one bigger or smaller, I don't remember, and it had to move and talk and things like this. Um, and so that's the kind of thing, like who could ever anticipate the kind of, that sort of need until someone says, this is what I want on stage, and you're, you know, that's, our, our job is to say, yes, I can, okay, I can do that. <laughs> or we don't have the money for that, which is all, all too often is the answer, but so we have to improvise. We're going to charge um, not a whole lot, but we want, we're curious what people think is an appropriate price, and I think the best way to learn it is to try and charge and see what, see what they say. We might have the, um, I think we're going to have the first maybe 25 customers do pay as you will, pay what you will, so that we learn a little bit. Mm. Yeah, the pricing scheme is something we have to, to, figure that have out to work out. Yeah.